Music One needs to know where to put the daily playlists that it creates for your automation playout system. Open the menu Settings and select System Settings. On the first screen here, you can change your station name. That's the name that will appear in the application title bar across the top of the screen. Each time you save a new schedule, Music One creates two files, one for its own uses, and from that, another one, a playlist file, that goes to your playout system. Music One's logs are almost always kept in a folder named Logs. That's the default and there's no reason to change it unless you have two or more licenses and then you would need to have a different log folder for each of the stations. Click the Automation tab. You must select the type of playlist file that you want Music One to export each day. Click open the Format field and you'll see the names of several of the most popular and widely used internet radio streaming systems are here. If you see yours, select it. If you're not sure, the most common type is the M3U. Next, you see another log folder field. This is where the playlist files will be saved. When you type a name here, Music One will automatically make a subfolder with that name. That folder will then be saved into the Music One SE folder. So the path will become C colon backslash Music One SE backslash and then your folder name. After you've made your first schedules and have had Music One save a playlist or two, you'll then tell your automation system where to look to find and load the daily playlists. If you want Music One to put the playlist somewhere else, someplace other than within the Music One SE folder itself, then you can double click in this field and a screen appears labeled Locate Automation Log Folder. You can negotiate through your system and select the place where Music One is to put the playlist. Some people have Music One on one machine and their playout system on another machine, and they send the playlist directly to a flash drive each day, which they then carry over to their streaming system. Music One will name the playlist with the date that the list is to be used. With the setting that we see here, a playlist for January 1st, 2015 would be named 2015-01-01.m3u. You can switch this to another setting if you desire or need to. Some automation systems want the playlist to be named dated in a specific manner.